second of these videos on these second order differential equations that require the chain rule start them all the same way let e equal the first derivative of what you're given so it's ds dt in this case so dv dt the second derivative and you write it here d2s dt2 is equal to dv dt and dv dt is also equal to ds dt times if we want to keep dv dt dv ds so here's my chain i have the sdt is v times dv ds this is equal to the second derivative that's equal to from the question minus one over s cubed so i might bring the s cubed up to the top and make it s to the minus three so we're going to get v dv is equal to minus s to the power of minus 3 ds so we have a v and an s which we can integrate what values have we got here we're told the s dt which is my v part is equal to 0 0.1 don't panic with these they're all done the same way and s is equal to 10 we're told s 10 and then we're going to solve for t so if we integrate v, we're going to get v squared over 2 between v and 0 0.1. This is going to be equal to, I might just factor out the minus for a second. So I'm going to go, we'll just leave the minus alone. So if we integrate s to the minus 3 goes to s to the minus 2 divided by the new pair. So this is going to be 1 over minus 2s squared. If you want to write it like that and then we have the minus in front this one which is going to make it positive so we're going to get one over two s squared i don't like twos and s's together but we'll do it anyway between s and 10. so on the left we're going to get v squared over two minus 0 0.1 squared is 0 0.01 over two does that cancel out on the far side equals one over 2s squared minus 1 over 200. 200. Is that the same as 0 0.01 over 2? And these are the same. So we're going to get multiplied by 2. We're going to get v squared is equal to 1 over s squared. So the square root of both sides, v is equal to 1 over s. That would be the plus and minus version. So which one is correct? V is 0.1, S is 10, so we have to reject the negative. And then we can say that V is equal to 1 over S, or V is equal to S to the power of minus 1. And what else do we have? We have V is equal to DS DT. So we can take 1 over S, and then you can make it easier, is equal to DS DT. So dt is equal to s ds, and if we integrate these guys, our values, s is 10, t is 0, t is 0, s is 10, we probably should be a bit neater here. So integrating 1, we're going to get t between t and 0. Excuse me for the COVID cough. I shouldn't be making videos while I'm sick, but uh, S squared over 2. Integrate the right hand side between S and 10. So we're going to get T minus 0 on the left equal S squared over 2 minus putting 10 in, we're going to get 100 over 2, so 50. So T is equal to S squared over 2 minus 50. So we're solving for s, s squared is equal to t plus 50. So s is equal to the square root of t plus 50. And it could be the plus and minus version of this. If I do it correctly, it will be s squared over 2. So 2t two plus 100, just be careful. 
s is equal to 10 when t is 0, so we have to reject the negative here and say that s is equal to the square root of 2t plus 100.